Hi Taurus, this is your reading from Star Kid Ignited for Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, this will cover the, um, it's timeless, so whenever you get the reading, it's the right time for you to read, uh, watch it. Um, the reading should cover this week's energy and then the outcome um, and the uh, like hopes and fears, things like that can reach out to the next month. So this will be a monthly reading. Um, I'll just let you know that I will have extended readings offered next month. So we will do one reading here uh, for free on YouTube and then we will dive a bit deeper over on extended um, on OnlyFans. So if you're interested, please get in touch about that. Um, as well as that, if you're interested in a personal reading, um, please get in touch with me as well. I would love to discover the magic of your birth chart together um, or we can do a card reading um, or anything that you're needing. So just get in touch via my email below. Um, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok if you guys want to follow me there. Um, and if these readings do resonate, please do share them with um, other loved ones. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, if you are able to, please do donate or tip if they resonated for you and you're wanting to. Um, and I will just let you guys know that um, you can watch your um, sun, moon and rising. So like, for example, if Taurus is your sun sign, um, then you might also want to check out what your rising and moon signs are and watch those readings as well, um, because they will give other information on the other like um, circumstances of your life. Okay. So Taurus, as I begin your readings, I will always do an energy meditation check in to just see what my guides want to bring forth for me before I even pull any cards. So what I was getting for you guys is there is a chaotic and fast moving energy. Um, currently friendships are supporting you through this, which is wonderful. Um, I started feeling really sick. So you might be feeling like your stomach is in knots because some big event has happened and I think it's shaken you up. Um, and fear is a big factor in what's going on with you. So like, um, yeah, the fear, the potentials, the possibilities, all the what ifs might be really running through your head right now and really nodding up your stomach. Um, things seem rather out of control, unable to see a clear path forward. Now, this is for purpose. So spirit has done this to you to slow you down, um, to come back home and to assess the direction of your life. So there is a new opportunity being offered through this challenge. Um, However, fear will not guide you to the opportunity. So you actually need to tap in, release the fear, and ask objectively, where was I off track? Where, like, why has this happened? Where was I off track with my soul? And how is this an opportunity to be more authentic and in alignment with what my heart's true desire is? So those are some, yeah, little tidbits to think about, Taurus. If it has been a bit of a hectic season and you're needing some extra advice, maybe just reflect on some of those things. Definitely call in your friends for support. It looks like you've got a lot of um, good energies around you trying to lend a helping hand or um, a shoulder to cry on. Okay. So spirit, please connect me to Taurus's higher self, their spirit guides angels and ancestors what is their current energy okay okay so i can yeah i can see there's a bit of emotional devastation regarding an opportunity that was missed so there was um in the current energy it looks like um there was a passionate new beginning or something that you felt was right within your grasp. Um, however, it looks like you're very caught in your emotions at this time due to, um, like due to the emotional loss of this thing, like you're very passionate about it. It felt like something very new and exciting. Um, but it's led to that, like just a feeling of, um, where is he? Yeah, I'm just like feeling as if like um, there's nothing left. When we see the five of cups, it's like we're focused on these three cups that are tipped over, but actually there are two cups that are full um, that we're still able to utilize. So you might be in a just a very disappointed energy right now. What is Taurus's color, current challenge? Okay. Yeah, and you've got a lot of things coming at you. So you're really needing to defend your point of view, there might be a lot of, um, ones can be like aggression and things like that. So you might be, um, in a position where this lost opportunity or something, um, 
not going the way that you had hoped is needing um has meant that you're really challenged to defend your position and you feel like you're needing to defend yourself from all angles and there are things just coming at you. Um, what was the past energy that led up to this for Taurus? Yeah, so I can see that you've really connected within and you're trying to create from a place that is more grounded. You really want to start something that is... Um, of worth in the world that's truly uh, connected to your soul and that like um, that has the ability to grow like you're wanting to really um, start something in the physical that is more aligned with yourself because we can see that there was a past energy in the um, that felt like nothing was working out, like you were putting in a lot of energy, a lot of time and growth. Um, but when we see it in the reverse, it's like we weren't getting, um, we were being challenged by this, like it wasn't potentially we were trying to keep pushing on something that was not going to work. Um, let's see what the next step is. So... It looks like you've tried something new in the current energy, but it might not have worked out exactly how you thought it would. Yes, okay. And so in the upcoming energy, we do have more um, more conflict. So we have the five of wands. Now, in comparison to the seven of wands, you can see it's very um, chaotic and things coming at you. So let's see. So... There may be more need to really um, – yeah, okay. To tap into your intuition, um, and this is going to give you the insight you need to be able to successfully navigate this conflict. Um, so, yeah, it looks like things are going to come to a head in the next few steps, but that your intuition and your heart is completely on point. It knows what's going on. Um, so make sure that you're taking time to meditate and ground because seeing things from a new perspective might actually give you the information you need to successfully navigate it with grace. Um, so what's Taurus conscious of? What is their conscious energy right now? What are they working towards? Yes, okay. So, Taurus, it does look like you've been spending a lot of time trying to free yourself from these old mental patterns. Um, you may have been doing this in the past, like trying to really get into your um, your true soul's desire, like trying to get rid of all the programming, all the negative beliefs, all the things that – all the ideas and thoughts and forms that you didn't actually create, that someone gave to you and you took on board and you integrated, but they weren't thoughts that were actually serving you. Um, and it looks like in the current situation, there's two ways of looking at it, that you're really putting time and effort and energy into releasing these thoughts um, and embracing this full transformation. Or the opposite can be that you're so challenged by all these negative thoughts that you're feeling paralyzed in fear and it's creating this tidal wave of emotion because a death needs to happen. What the death card means, it's like an ego death. A way of being that we viewed ourselves is coming to a close. It needs to die. It no longer fits the self that we are. Um, but this can bring up a lot of mental chatter and that can often bring us back into a state of fear um, because we're actually trying to do something that's bigger than what we've previously done. And because our, um, our logical brain might not have all the answers, it's going to start freaking out. Okay. Okay. And so, yeah, the subconscious drive is that – So there could be something with um, institutions, um, governments, the law, things like that because of the hierophant. But what I see it more as is there is a really wise and strong, deep spiritual side of yourself that has been like begging to come out, begging to um, 
share its wisdom with you, but it looks like in the past, so maybe in your childhood, um, this part of you might have been uh, shamed or not allowed to be, um, or it was challenged, or it was seen as um, something negative. And what I can see from here is that there is a real desire in your subconscious to reclaim those parts of yourself and to choose a different part so when we see the two of swords it's very much like oftentimes they're blindfolded and they need to make a decision um and it's like your mental brain doesn't have all the answers it's only got like the two swords kind of thing and you're needing to feel in whatever option that is so it looks like your soul is really pushing you away from this fear path it's wanting you to embrace this wise um master energy that you have but it will only come through once you allow this old self to die um okay yeah give up control is what i just said so what is your um what is the advice from your higher self so make the decision lovers card can often be a decision but it also shows like embracing the the beauty the um the passion the love of life like allowing yourself to fully embrace all the beautiful good wonderful things that make us feel like tender and held um your higher self might be speaking to you through art through music through um through the things that truly make you happy and it's trying to remind you yeah that you have the strength oh my god i'm not taking this but that you have the strength to release yourself um and truth strength doesn't come from yelling and screaming and carrying on truth strength comes from knowing your true power and not allowing others to um get reactions from you that you don't actually want to give. Um, you have the strength to finally release yourself from this tomb. Um, and it's interesting because we have the eight of swords and we also have the nine of swords here. So it's almost like your higher self is saying like where the nine of swords feels like there's no escaping, they're all around us and we're locked in. Your higher self is actually showing you that while you feel entombed, you actually have the power to free yourself. Um, that yeah what you're seeking is seeking you and your higher self trying to encourage you that there is even more love and passion once you find this inner strength to release the negative thought forms beliefs fears um even like ways of manipulating or like ways of justifying things that all needs to be released and your love for life and your inner strength is what really wants to be um highlighted at this time and to come through to give you the messages you need to get on this um true path that your soul is wanting so the circumstances that are out of your control are the five of swords so it's conflict that's like something something's happening outside of your control now it's not a big one like we can see that it is um minor arcana not major which means that um it's something more in the day-to-day -day. there's been some kind of argument or something where you're needing to um needing to fight possibly with another earth sign or a man or someone very wealthy um yeah that you didn't see coming so This could also be like with a boss, this could be with a friend, um, a partner, some kind of unexpected um, some kind of unexpected conflict that you've had where you really yet yeah, didn't see it coming is what's kind of out of the control of you at this point. What we can see for your hopes and fears though is the nine of pentacles. So Taurus, you're an earth energy. You know that you can manifest and call in whatever you want. Like you're ruled by Venus, the planet of love and attraction and money. Um, you're 
your hope your hope for this situation is that you can finally grow and build all the things that you've always dreamt of all the things that you keep locked away in your heart that are so beautiful and precious um your soul is really hoping to bring these into manifestation into the physical um and that might also be tied to the fear as well. Like you might fear that if you really go for it, what if you don't get it? Or what if you leave something that's stable for something that's un unsure? And yeah, I can see that this whole situation is putting you in a very um, king of swords energy. So you're really feeling quite um, blunt quite firm, needing to make decisions, needing to cut people off, things like that. And you might actually be in some negative emotions surrounding this as well. So it looks like this situation might have really thrown you off balance where you're feeling quite emotionally triggered um, and like a decision must be made. Okay, yeah. And we can see, yeah, this has completely burdened you. You already had enough on your plate going on, and this has just really worn you down. Um, and it's made, it's taken the joy out of what you were doing. So whatever you had been doing before this situation out of your control, it looks like it's really kind of stopped the ball, and that would be quite devastating. I'm sure quite disappointing if you're feeling like something's moving forward. But as I said, there is an opportunity in here. Um for you to really release yourself some of from some of these past thoughts and ways of being and we have our outcome card which is the empress which is this like divine mother um this very abundant sacred loving feminine energy that knows whatever she needs is coming doesn't need to um, react out of fear because she attracts instantly everything she needs um, this is the kind of energy that your soul is wanting to reach toward that is what is oh, that is what is being offered to you yes okay yeah and we can see that there also might be a need to release being so dominant. So it looks like the male energy is in reverse and the feminine is in the upright. So potentially with this person taking a more feminine approach will um, lead to a better result. And it also might um, give you insight into how you're currently uh, living and being because if we are too much in masculine or feminine energy, then we become unbalanced and one side will become repressed and then, oh, what is it? And then express itself through its lower energy. So you're definitely being encouraged to embrace the more feminine energy, the more soft understanding energy. Um, it looks like if you take too much of a dominant approach, this person will too. Um, but that's just what I'm feeling. So that is your tarot portion of the reading. Now, we're going to get some more advice and clarifiers just to give you some more information um, on how the situation might apply to you. So I've been called to pull an Aboriginal Oracle deck, which I will read from the book. So um, we'll ask for what needs to be released and what is your strength right now. So Spirit, what does Taurus need to release at this time? What is being... Okay, deception. So any kinds of turning a blind eye, any kinds of um, allowing yourself to be deceived or allowing um, yourself to deceive others, whether it's to protect someone, whether it's to um, protect yourself or look after something, um, it needs to be released. Deception is not an energy that you want active in your vortex because if it's active in your vortex, it means you're attracting it and you don't want to attract people that um, seek to deceive you and take advantage of you. So this challenge might have been brought out by something that you didn't see coming or because you were decepted by someone or something um, or potentially because you were deceiving someone. Like you have tried to... Um, potentially even hide this new opportunity that you were going after or something and it's need to come spirits brought it to light um 
Yeah, because you're moving too quickly towards something and there needed to be a pause and a reevaluation because we can see what your strength is, is reflection. So an ability to go within and see all the different paths available to you rather than feeling like there's just nothing here. Um, so I'm going to read this from the book for you because it's a spicy book. She's got some good information, good advice. Um, I love it. Okay, so here we go. Deception can be defined as the intended act to, to mislead someone through trickery and fraud. In many situations, this may be the case. However, do not forget to acknowledge the deception that can be the misunderstanding of oneself. Yeah, and that makes sense because a lot of this is about removing past beliefs and allowing the ego to die to get more in touch with your true self. So you could be f deceiving yourself thinking you are a certain way or a certain person when your true soul nature is something different. Sometimes we may think we understand or know a situation only to discover our intuition knew the real truth all along. Often it is distrust in ourselves that is the biggest deception of all. So war and deception is raging around you. It feels like it has been ages since peace has surrounded you and you may be feeling traumatized by your constant use of survival tactics. It's time to take control and call a truce. Take a breath and take some time out. This is one occasion where turning the other cheek is not in your best interest. Yes, I swear I said that earlier. Um, this is a time to stand up and be counted. You do need to fight this one, not literally, but strategically. Use this time to recharge your batteries and plan a strategic defense. Put your defensive plan in action and put an end to this madness and move on with more important things in your life, like looking after you. Um... Now, this was in the release position. So, as I said, I think that you're really being encouraged to take a more feminine energy with this. I think if you come at this warring, then the other, the conflict might become more of a war. Whereas if you can use your, and the Empress energy is Taurus energy. It's that, like, um, like it's really hard to get Taurus to react. Taurus are very, like, they're stable, they're calm, they're serene. For the most part, if you if you do get them to react, it's going to be bad. But it's kind of like using that strength and that part of yourself, knowing that you are this unmovable mountain and challenges can face up against you, but you're still rock solid in what you know, that like you're getting from A to B no matter what. And there is a way to do that more lovingly or with more... Um, in action than action. So, yeah, and so we can see as well with your um, strength being reflection, let's see what um, further insight this can give to you at this point. So, as I said, we're releasing deception and we're utilizing our strength of reflection. Reflection is the ability to look back and see the situation for what it was. Right, okay. So if you're deceiving yourself or if you're trying to act like, oh, this, this, and this didn't happen and... Spirit knows what happened. Your higher self knows what happened. Whether you turned a blind eye or not, you might have had a responsibility to see and react. Um, and you're allowed to admit that, like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't I, – I was deceived. I wasn't – I didn't see this for what it was. Um, and I would like to amend it. I'd like to make it better. Um, but let's keep going. So – it's those moments where you see things in a different light as time has given you the gift of clarity. Reflection is, offered, offered, uh, is often referred to as hindsight, but the key to insight is what you do with the information once you have discovered it exactly. Your choice is to either learn from it or continue on as before. Reflection is our quiet time where we have the opportunity to reassess and make changes in our life or acknowledge the journey on which we have embarked. You are sad because of the losses you have sustained of late. You may be feeling somewhat depressed and questioning the universe as to why me. Are you feeling like the world is against you? The time is over to continue your indulgence of self-pity. There are still those things that can be salvaged from this situation. Find a moment for some quiet reflection and decide what is worth keeping. When you decide what to keep, spend some time assessing the positive aspects of the situation. There are positive outcomes. It's just you've neglected to see them. It's now time to accept what has happened and change your focus to the positive aspects of the future. 
So yeah, it looks like Taurus, something has happened that couldn't be avoided. Um, it's that old saying, the only way out is through. And sometimes being humble, um, allowing ourselves to say like, okay, you know what? Like I can let my ego die. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I could have done better and I'm sorry. Um, it doesn't mean to let someone railroad you or take advantage of you. Um, but it's a very powerful thing we do when we make that decision and we decide, no, I'm changing something. I'm putting my hand up first to say, I'm, I'm addressing this. It's very different to when we feel like we need to lie and deceive when we get backed into a corner and then we have to say it. Um, yeah. So, and honestly, I know that this would be very challenging. These are not, it looks like a lot's been going on for you in this week. So just take some time to yourself as well. Take some time to maybe like research things that are going to give you a wiser perspective, like learn from old, uh, from teachers, from, I don't like to say religious figures, but like, you know, from spiritual teachers, from great writers, from people that can inspire you to, embody this wiser version of yourself and to get through this situation in a way that's going to be the most easeful for you and that you're not going to feel like the world is against you anymore okay wonderful Taurus. so now we're going to get some extra oracle cards for you let's see the person you're dealing with so um we'll we'll look at the conflict because obviously there's a there's some kind of conflict happening so We'll take one card for you and one card for the other person. So how is the other person that Taurus is in the conflict with seeing Taurus? Oh, it's too many. No. Okay, so we'll read this one first. Yeah, okay. So this person might be feeling like you're quite... Um, full of yourself kind of thing. So that that's the um, impression that they're getting from you, that you're very high and mighty and like um, you're the story, storyteller. You decide how things are going. Um, they might also feel like what's happening is, is as clear as day to them. Like it's a very obvious situation um, because we have the sun here. And we also have Gemini and Leo, which says that like they might be feeling like yeah, you're someone who's got a lot of information and isn't afraid to use it. Um, okay, and what? how is Taurus perceiving this other person? How? What are Taurus feeling about the other person? Okay, so Taurus, you might be seeing them as someone who's maybe deceptive or someone that... Um, knows the right things to say and is very um maybe doesn't maybe knows the law but doesn't apply it to themselves that might be how you're viewing them um you also see them as someone who's very they have a lot of information about whatever's going on here um Yeah, and they also could be someone um, who has a lot of money and wealth or something that it feels a bit um, confrontational to come up against. And that also might be why they're then picking up that energy from you of like a lot of um, communication, facts, like this is how it is, blah, 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 because you're seeing them in this light where it's like, okay, well, they don't really apply the rules to themselves. They know what's right or wrong, but they seem to be more interested in whatever they're creating or whatever they, their stability, their foundation, and they seem to be, um, yeah, you might be getting a little bit intimidated by the info that they've got. Okay. Now, Spirit, can you show us one card for what is an energy that is going to bring about a harmonization and the most um, peaceful outcome for Taurus and this person? Okay. An energy I know well. So Virgo Capricorn. So Virgo Capricorn are both Earth signs. They're both opposite to Taurus. So Sorry, not opposite to Taurus. They try in Taurus. So Taurus is the other Earth sign. Um... And what that tells me is that, Taurus, you might be needing to utilize your other earth sign friends um, 
their skills, their expertise. Um, Capricorn and Virgo do not miss a detail. Virgo can see everything. They can see everything wrong with something. They're very itemized at critiquing and seeing the big picture and seeing what needs to be fixed. Capricorn is a very honest, responsible um hardworking diligent sign so it looks like you're needing to put a little bit of tenderness into taking responsibility um and to really nurture the situation a little bit I know that's obviously going to be hard it's really hard to nurture someone who's coming at you but trying to bring a bit more of that energy even to yourself before you go into um opportunities of communication and things like that um we can also see, yeah, Cancer and Capricorn, more Capricorn energy. So as it said, like really taking responsibility um, and needing to, Cancer Capricorn is the mother, father. So maybe you're needing, like this could have to do with children. This could be where well, you're needing to almost mother and father yourself. You're needing to be that soft side, but also that firm side that like, you know, like when you get in trouble with your dad and they're like, maybe it's a quite, um, nice male energy that isn't going to just yell and attack you, but they're going to say like, I'm disappointed in you. You need to take responsibility for this and you need to fix this. And like, you're about, yes. Okay. But then also having that loving cancer side where it's like, you did your best. I understand that like, you know, maybe like this feels horrible and it doesn't feel like something that you should be having to deal with right now for whatever reason, but your soul called for it. There's a reason this is happening. And the other energy is Libra Sagittarius. So a liberating feeling is needed, a little bit of um, action towards bringing into balance um, what has happened. And it might even have to do with, um, yeah, being flexible in opinions. Sagittarius energy can be quite like, I know what's right and wrong kind of thing. So you might need to, might need to bring a little bit of that Libra harmonization to your opinion. So Libra knows that like there's two sides to every story and its, um, its perception is only one perception and it needs to talk and communicate um, in a loving way with others to kind of get more of that full story. So that might be something that's um, being recommended to you at this time, Taurus. Okay, so let's get you some love. Let's get you something nice. It looks like, I'm sorry, you've been having so much go on right now. Um, make sure you do check out your sun, moon and rising because um, there might be some different messages for you there. It just looks like whatever situation this is needs to come up, needs to be spoken about. So I'm going to get you a very special crystal ally card. Um, this is a crystal that you can obviously buy and work with. Um, if not, you can even just research it for yourself and try and invite in some of its energy of support. I'm going to ask your higher self, what is the most healing crystal? What is going to bring the most profound healing and support for Taurus in this challenging time spirit? What crystal, what crystal ally is going to bring peace and serenity to their heart is going to bring courage to take responsibility. Um, wow. That like landed on my hand. <laughs> and we have another release card. So release with Aquamarine. Taurus, you might be wanting to literally just escape right now. Um, you know, the beach might be calling you. Places of water might be calling you. Um, and I think that once you deal with this situation, you're going to feel a complete catharsis of energy just dropping off. Um, but that will only happen through releasing what no longer serves you. There's all these like past beliefs, past ways of being. It could have to do with um, things you were taught in childhood, as we saw, that no longer served, that it actually didn't serve you to be treated like that as a child. And now recreating that is causing even more issues and a need for release. So I'll read this from the book for you. They are long and then we'll leave it there. Um, if this is resonating, guys, please do consider donating, tipping down below, booking a personal reading, um, like, share and subscribe, get in touch with me. I would love to hear if this does resonate. Um, and yeah, what, what actions you took once you had the reflection time. So let's find this one for you. Aquamarine. Let's get it. 
And it's all about the throat chakra, which is speaking your truth. Um, more Aquarian energy as well. It's like needing to say what you authentically think, but making sure that that authenticity is not coming from an ego reaction. It's coming from your heart. Um, just because we don't regret things, we say from our heart. Affirmation. I release everything that no longer serves my highest good. So you can write that down. You can say that to yourself over the next month. Anytime you're being challenged and it will help bring this energy of aquamarine and release into your um, aura and yeah, help move some of that energy for you. In this image, an ancient temple made of aquamarine is submerged beneath the beautiful waters of the ocean. The temple has long been washed clean by the healing waters and now contains only light, providing a platform for new growth to emerge in the form of long fronds of seaweed. This is the image of release. Aquamarine is a lovely blue variety of beryl. The stone resonates at a frequency that opens and clears the throat chakra, facilitating communication and enhancing one's ability to perceive the energy behind the words of others. Guys, I am actually offering a throat chakra activation at the moment. It is in person and a healing, um, but it's a very powerful Atlantean um, crystal act activation I found. So if that's something that you would like um, to support you through this process, please do get in touch as well, especially if you're in Brisbane. Okay, the act of release is... Sorry, uh, yeah. So it facilitates communication and enhancing one's ability to perceive the energy behind the words of others. It, it is an element... It is a water element stone, and so it reflects water's energy by promoting clarity, movement, and especially release. The act of release is a vitally important act in the process of growth. Releasing what you no longer want or need allows you to make room in your life and heart for those things that you wish to create, and you want to create something, Taurus. Um, there is a well-known saying which illustrates the truth of the release process. If you love something, set it free. If it is yours, it will come back to you. If it does not, then it never was. Aquamarine reminds you to give away the attachment to your past creations, releasing their hold on your present reality. When you're attached to a story, event, personal creation from the past, it can keep you stuck in the place that you have outgrown. Longing for the past prevents you from moving forward. Release attachment to what has been so that you can free yourself to move into what will be. Aquamarine encourages you to become empty for a while so that the new can take form. Between the old and the new is a place of purity, clarity, and inner space. This place you can rest and integrate your past experiences while you conceive of what you want to bring into being in the future. You can gather your emotional wisdom from your learning experiences and release any lingering emotional baggage that is weighing you down. Another proverb that reflects the power that is in the process of release teaches us that you can't squeeze a fist full of water. <laughs> the harder you press, the faster it will run out of your hand. When you release your grip and allow the water to flow, you can experience its beauty and energy. The same concept applies to life. If you attempt to control everything too tightly, you lose your ability to experience the essence of your experiences. It is only through the act of release that you find your true path and receive the gifts the universe has for you. Aquamarine is encouraging you to let go of attachment. You may be attached to a particular outcome and feel that it is the only one that will bring you happiness, but the universe has a plan that you cannot see. Trying to control the current situation is like trying to squeeze the fistful of water. Let go and allow the universe to bring you the outcome that is in your highest good. Sometimes your attachment is to a person. If this is the case, then it is time to set them and yourself free. And if someone is meant to be in your life, the universe will guide them back. If your work with them is complete, there is no amount of attachment that will make them stay. Release, release will bring both of you more peace. Awesome. So it does look like spirit has a higher plan for you in this situation. And the more that you can tap into your, um, your soul's energy, your inner strength, your ability to embrace life's unpredictability and challenge um, that you're going to be guided exactly where you need to go. And it might feel emotional. It might feel, you know, like a lot of things are shedding. But remember, it's only painful when we're resisting. When we actually let it happen, it just gets to release off like water. 
So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Thank you so much. Um, if this has resonated, please do consider donating. It really helps me. Um, or like, share, and subscribe. I will have extended readings next month. So we would go deeper into this. We will get another spread, see what's going on with your love life. Um, and if you're interested in that, join me on OnlyFans next month. But otherwise, I hope you have a great week and month. Love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.